I have a GE5 KCR49TN2312CX that blew one of the two capacitors on the back of the motor. The compressor motor is from a Craftsman model and the NN Nander part number is XXXXX says this motor is discontinued from the manufacturer, and I can't even find a replacement cap from Cambridge capacitors. The windings don't seem to be damaged. Can someone help me find an exact replacement for this motor or at least a cap and try my luck and hope it works? I will even replace both of them. Hello. Thank you for choosing Just Answer. My name is Ice, I'm here to help you with all your electrical needs. I will need you to give me all the information on the capacitor. Hi Tommy, thanks for getting back so quick. Here it is, Cambridge capacitors, M40F30, 40 oof plus minus 10%, minus 4070C, 370 back 5060 HC. The PN is smear.97 times 399 AKP2. It has two red wires and one brown out from one end. I can provide a jumper for the red if I need to, its physical size is about 35 eighths long and 1 3 quarters diameter. The other cap. Which looks okay is a Mallory 400 to 480 MFD, 165 VAC PN 52A103967 or NNNNNNNNN03 with two black wires and shorter in length. Should I replace both? Hello Arthur, I called Sears and of course they were not able to give me a part number. His response was if the compressor is 10 years or older it's a good idea to buy a new one. LOL. So I found a website where you are able to plug in the parameters of the capacitor and order new ones. Mouser.com you can get a price on both and see if it is worth replacing them. Most times I opt to fix just what is broke. To me it looks like the start capacitor is bad, the other one is the run capacitor. Let me know how you make out. Please do not forget to rate my response if you are satisfied with my answer. Thank you. M. Ouser doesn't look to be too strong on what I'm looking for. Their voltage ratings are only as high as 330 VAC. What do you think it's only a 30 volt difference dot and of course the size is not the same as the Cambridge dot do you think I can play around with the rating let's say 36 to 43 microfarad? There seems to be more of a selection in that range. When I checked they had 370 back. I would try to get almost the exact one. Hey Tommy, I did actually find a cap at the rating I was looking for. I was probably looking too hard and was late as you can see. LOL. Not an exact replacement but I will make it fit. So it cost me about $45 total. We'll see what happens. Would you like me to get back to you guys with my results after the install? I would be more than happy to. Thanks for your help, Artie. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.